The problem of Westboro is very simple to solve, isn't it? All we have to do is merely make them disappear. Then it'll be as white as this winter snowstorm. We'll all be pure. Won't that be the case? That's all we have to do. Let's smash them. Let's bring them down. Let's ban them. Let's prohibit them. Let's get rid of them. If we get rid of Westboro Baptist Church, there will be no more hate in the world. That's all we have to do is get rid of them. It's simple. So we're going to make nasty comments about them. We're going to get points with our friends for hating them. We're going to tell ourselves how terrible and rotten they are. We're going to say the same things over and over again. They will disappear if we hate them enough. Isn't that the case? Unfortunately, folks, it's not going to be that easy. Like I've been saying before, in the Eastern thought and also in New Thought thought, they say what we don't like about ourselves, we see in the world, and thus we lash out in the world what we don't like about ourselves. And naturally, a lot of people don't like the hating part of themselves that Westboro Baptist Church represents. Now, I've been saying this before, so it's not entirely new, but I'm going to put it in a different way today. I've been looking at some stuff by author Debbie Ford. I read one of her books and I looked at some stuff on the internet. She calls it the shadow. And she says if you look into the shadow you can mine gold. And I've mentioned mining my subconscious and that's why I look at Fred Phelps because I can mine gold. So if you look inside your subconscious you can mine gold. A lot of people are terrified of doing that. They're terrified of the part of themselves that Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church represent. It's too bad for them because they're not growing the way they want to, the way they need to, to become the best. And as a society, if we're going to suppress Fred Phelps, we're going to have this dark thing that's going to lurk out there. And if we get rid of Fred Phelps, the darkness in society is not going to disappear. As we all know with repression, or at least we all should know, if you knock it down, it comes back so much harder. Fred Phelps is a shadow. And I'm going to look into that shadow because I know great things come about. They say the freedom fighter has a tyrant inside. I believe that is true. I've seen it in me. And I've went inside that shadow, looked at the tyrant, and I broke free of that, or I have been breaking free. And I've become something better, a better freedom fighter than I was before. I am free of ideology. So embracing the tyrant has made me free. And if you embrace the shadow that Fred Phelps represents, you can be free too.